Hey everyone, we're here today to uh, work on my whitewater pinball machine and what we're doing is replacing this plug that's on the end of, you know, for the power source to plug into the wall on the machine and as you can see, it's only two prongs. There's not a, uh, a ground pin, which is, would be the third pin that goes here. So we're replacing this plug because um, the machine gives like shock sometimes like you could feel like electrical if you it's not grounded so what happens if you touch another machine or another piece like of metal you'll feel like a little bit of a shock going through you so usually if you ground whatever electrical it may be you won't get that but if it's not grounded that's usually what will happen you'll feel a charge kind of going through your body a little bit so in this video what we're going to do is replace this end of this outlet with a replacement of this end and how that works is basically you unscrew this these two screws this comes off and then you would attach the wires after we cut this end off of the plug the wires that are left inside we just you know put, this replaces this so this has a third prong which is the ground so I believe how it usually goes is that the right side is the power in the um, in the outlet the left is the neutral and the bottom prong is the ground so the hot side of any outlet is the right side and the left side is uh it's negative you know it's just so we have to match up the wires to this to put into this that goes you know with the outlet and then we should be good to go so that's what this video is going to be about to show how to swap out if you have a two prong plug you should always have a ground on it you know you're looking for problems if you don't and I kind of just discovered this I knew it kind of had the two prongs but I never really had any issues with it I guess I never really felt anything but recently I did and I, I should have changed it a while back but I just never did because I kind of forgot about it being in the wall and you know whatever until I felt it shock me so uh, we're gonna change that and we're gonna do that right now okay so what we're gonna start by doing is uh, cutting this end off and then basically you're going to take a pair of like wire cutters or something and I'm going to give it enough wire like I'm, you know my wire is pretty long so I'm going to you know that goes into the wall so uh, I mean you don't need to go you could go here if you wanted to but I'll just give it a little bit of room so I could look to see if I forget what's what I could look at this wire and, and you know this end and see the wires that are still remaining on this side and kind of match it up with this if I forget like how the piece was when I cut it off so it goes into the wall on my plug this way, you know, so there's a bottom part on mine where the neutral would be, the ground, I should say, and that goes into the wall that way. So this side, my right side where my pointer is, should be the hot side. So when I'm putting it into this uh, new uh, end for the plug, the power part, this side where my pointer is should be the, pow the, the power side. Um, so... I have to match that up to this because when that goes into the wall, the power side is on this sweat, this side, the positive side. So this side, whatever wire comes out of that, has to match up on that side to this plug, you know, this end when we put it on. So that's what we're going to do now. We're just going to cut this end. So like I said, I'm going to give it enough slack. So I snipped it, and then what we're going to do as I, I think. The plus side or the or the positive side will be green on mine because I'm looking at it now inside here, and basically it looks like it's green. I'm thinking, um, but we'll know. I think there's green, white, and there's like another piece of wire in there, but I'll have to take a look and see. So we're gonna strip this back and just see what's in there. Maybe we'll test it with a voltmeter as well, just to make sure that we're, you know, doing the right thing. Okay, so now we're here with uh, our voltmeter, and what we're going to do now is we have it set to continuity, and that's like the one with the little like wave, like radio or wave length thing kind of things it is. It's like a radar signal or something, and you want it set for that. You want to set your voltmeter to that, and then what you want to do is take like the end that you cut off, and this is just to verify what cable is what. So again, this side, my right side is the... Uh, plus side like the uh, the positive side so what we're going to do is take the negative lead of your voltmeter 
and kind of attach it to that end, we'll say. And now you want to take your positive voltmeter side and kind of go, to, there's three cables in this um, loop here, you know, of, of where, where it went into the outlet. So there's a green, a white, and a black. So let's see which one, it should be black, it should be, that should be the positive. So if we go to green, there's nothing, we hear no noise. White, we hear no noise. Now black, we get noise. So that's telling me that, that that side here, the right side, is the black side. So when we're wiring up the new end, we need to put that right side to black. So now let's do the other side. So this will be the negative side, the left side. So we'll put our, our black voltmeter end to that take our red voltmeter side. Now that should be white, I believe. So we'll go to black, we'll go to green, we'll go to white. Now it sounds with our uh, voltmeter. So that's telling me I'm getting continuity. It's, it's kind of connecting the trace inside the, uh, the plug here. So we're making a, like a complete circuit here while we have our negative on the left side and our positive side to the white side. So that's telling me that the right side is black, the left side is white, and the green side is the, uh, the what do you call it, the ground. So that will go to, my, the green will go to the third prong on the bottom, which is your ground lead. So again, it's plus, negative, ground. So we just confirm with this piece that I cut off, that's how it's wired, which is the right way it should be wired. You never know, you wanna maybe double check that, you know, you, Things, you know, you think they're, they're going to work the way that they're going to work and then you're, you know, surprised with your, you know, $5,000 pinball machine when you blow it up because you have a wire the wrong way or something in your house. So let's now uh, start on this now. We're going to cut the other, wire, you know, the plug that goes now with this end off so we expose the wires and connect it into this uh, housing of the new uh, end that we have with the ground on it. Okay, so here's the uh, new, uh, you know, end of our out of our plug of what it's going to be, and there's screws on the sides here to unloosen, you know, so you can put the wire through it. Um, so how it goes is that you would take your wire and put it into this like notch that's in here, and then you tighten up the screw, and the metal kind of fat, like squeezes together, so it locks the wire into place. So what I did was on my plug already I cut that end off but there's three wires we have again the black which is the positive the white which is the negative and the green which is the ground as we confirm with the voltmeter I stripped I cut that off like with an ex with an exacto I just kind of sl slid around the, the housing the rubber housing and then I just sheared back the wires with my wire cutters here but it has you know where you could uh, Go and take the the wire coating off you know the uh the part you know that the wires in here so what you do is you just take your your wire cutters you kind of hold, put it in here and you like strip it and you strip the housing off and then the cover covering of that wire is, ex is taken off and the wire is exposed so what you want to do now again our our plug goes in this way oops so you go you know, so if we flip it around, the right side is on this side, and again, that's the plus. So the black is the plus, and you would take your wire and just kind of feed it into this notch here. I know my hands in a way, but you kind of feed it in that way. The negative would go on this side to the left, and the ground would go on the bottom, and then you would just screw it in to, to lock it in. So that's what we're going to do now, and then uh, we'll see how it looks after we're done and test it out and make sure that everything works. Okay, so here we are now, all our three wires are in, and we, I screwed everything in to the side, so now everything is locked into place. And again, I know I'm overemphasizing this again, but again, if we look at our plug, this is the plus on your, if you're looking at it this way, this would be your right, this is your left, which is negative, and your bottom is your ground. So again, my wires go black is plus, white is negative, right, left, ground, which is on the bottom. So it's black is positive, which is on the right, white is negative, which is on the left, green is ground, and that's at the bottom. So um, 
So that's how it goes and everything's screwed in. So then this is actually a pretty cool way. I bought this like Home Depot or Lowe's, maybe Lowe's, this um, end here. And it just like kind of swivels up. You take two screws out and it's like a, like a sandwich kind of in a way. And then when you're done, you just sandwich it together. If you're done locking everything down, you put, leave your wire and it gives you enough like, you know, resistance, like a rubber here to kind of go up and down. And then you put your two screws back in and that's it. And you're good to go. So I'm going to lock, tie, screw everything together and see if this works. Okay, so now I'm done doing the outlet or the plug end and all that stuff. So now what I'm going to do is I plugged it into the wall and we're going to try to turn on the pinball machine and see what happens. Oh, that's good. It didn't blow up or smoke or anything, which is good. And that's it. And it seems like it works. So let's credit up a game. So it seems like everything is working okay. I'm able to flip. And uh, get some action in the game without it blowing up. I touch it to um, the metal on both machines, like the uh, the white one machine and the Adams family next to me. I'm not getting that shock I was getting before, so hopefully I fix that issue as well. You know, with uh, the shock problem that I was having. So I think everything is working and everything uh, is turning on, and I'm not getting shocked by the, the other machine. So it seems like that was my problem, was that ground on that outlet, or the plug, I should say, that comes from the machine to the outlet in the wall. And just remember those things of what I've shown in the video of the, um, you know, the wires of where they are on, because they have to duplicate what you're taking out of the wall, or it's not going to work, or you can maybe blow something up, I don't know. But you want to make sure that your wire configuration is correct, and you could test that, like I said, with a voltmeter. If you put it on continuity and just make sure you get a beep out of what side, you know, that is making that circuit of, of the color of the wire and what end of the plug. So it's an easy way to check it out to make sure that you're doing it the correct way. So again, thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, I have three or four different sites. I have my regular website, www.pinballsupernova.com. I have a Twitter page, I have a Facebook page, and I have a YouTube page. And everything can be accessed through the homepage of my website, which is www.pinballsupernova.com. And I can be reached by email at info, I-N-F-O, at pinballsupernova.com as well. And again, I really appreciate everybody viewing the videos and subscribing to the channel, the YouTube channel. Hopefully more people subscribe and watching or looking at my posts that I post. And if you have any, any kind of, you know, feedback or anything, feel free to email. Again, thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.